Hello and welcome to some Sea Open at Chicagoland. This ought to be a pretty good one. Um, so, I'm not sure how people are going so fast. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how people are going so fast in qualifying. So, in the open practice, I was I, I, I've been trying different tapes, like different amount of tape, and you know, putting too much seems to get it real loose and you know, you're basically flat out. So I don't know where guys are getting a couple tenths on me. But I'm not quite able to match up. I guess it's just a setup thing. I am going to put all of my eggs in the lap two basket. Because you're not quite up to speed yet on lap one. And I'm gonna go ahead and use all the grip I can on lap two and just try to get as much as I can. Uh, hopefully I do not get loose on lap two and end up having to start in the back. But even if that happens, not a huge deal. I will survive. Anyway, here we go. This is the one that counts. I mean, they both count, but this one's <laughs> hopefully gonna mean something. Just got loose there. That was close. Probably still scrubbed some speed off, but that could have been much worse. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I got a little loose in turns one and two, but I don't know. 30.877. That's so far back. I don't know how guys are getting like 30.4s and stuff. Look at that. That's crazy. That little loose moment in turns one and two, that was nothing. That scrubbed off maybe half a tenth. That's definitely not going to have lost me several tenths. I don't understand how where people are getting that speed, but... Yeah. Oh well. I guess we will start not near the front. <laughs> I missed something. I have no idea. I guess it, you know, it could just be a setup thing. I don't know. Like I said, adding more tape just makes it even looser. I don't know, but... Uh, Green flag pit stop practice there. That was Watch your speed. slowed down way too well there. That's a little bit too conservative. Interesting. Kind of tricky though because once uh, I'm actually going to be needing to uh, Five, get into the pits, my tire's going to be three, worn. So two, one. I'm not entirely right sure here. where I'm going to need to start slowing down if we do have green flag pit stops. Man, I am one of the slowest here. I don't understand. I really don't. I really, really don't. But, uh, anyway, there were two setups on the OSR. Um, Chicago land for the trucks. And I'm going with the one by Mr. Charles. <laughs> uh, this one seems a little right, looser. Are looking better now. And whereas the other one seemed a little more stable. However, I think I'm going to like having this one more because dirty air is really a thing here. And, well, we're going to have a lot of people in front of us, first of all. And uh, second of all, you know, getting that dirty air, the truck gets tight. I think it'll be nice to have the extra turn in it. So, made sure I took off the tape. I went from 80% tape back to 57, which I moved to 58 because the other setup gets away with 58. So I'm going to go ahead and put 58 on this one. 1% One is not going to make or break it, I'm sure, anyway. But move that back up in case you're wondering what that was about. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of people to pass. I don't know, man. Like, you'll see my all-time best is a 30.7. And that was with draft in practice. I, I'm missing something. I don't know. I really don't. But, all right, that's fine. Uh, we actually have decent participation right now. 
I'm off today on a Tuesday, and it's, uh, you know, let's see, let me go ahead and check. It's about 2 p.m. right now. So, got lots of people out here. Decent amount signed up. One to go. Next and that'll bring us to the Line four truck, Pit road is closed. despite my 4,700 I rating at this point, thereabouts. So, anytime I'm not forced to be the number one is a good day for me. So, especially if I'm going to be starting 15th, I'm a little nervous. It's reminding me of... What was it? What was it I did recently where I got domino effect? It was a C open at it was yeah, it was the last C open at Nashville Super Speedway. I got the domino effect. I had to start not so very far to the front and I got damaged on lap one because the guy's being crazy. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I go ahead and go session last lap. Not going to be trying to hit all-time bests out here. Three sets of tires. And we're ready to go. If everybody else is ready to go, I'm ready to go. Are you all ready to go? I say let's get this going. Where are you, 12? Looking for 12. Where are you, 19? Looking for 19. <laughs> I think that's about it. Just a couple more people we're waiting on. There are three additional sets of but we're about to get started. All right, and have I need a to drink run. of water before I start racing. We got 80 laps here to deal with. 80 laps. The track temp is 107. I think it's hot in the truck, you know. Especially out here in Illinois, Chicago land. It's been like 100 degrees out here in the Midwest. We got like 100 plus track temps here today, although I think the ambient temperature was only like 80 or something, so <laughs> that's not realistic, but <laughs> I guess the fact we're racing on Chicago Land at all right now is not the most realistic, sadly. But it is a second gear start, I do believe. The guy saying, "Can't hear him." I can never hear people, man. I don't know. Got a student driver to our right over there. <laughs> That's fun. And we have Arizona in front of us. I believe that's what that flag is, right? Yeah, the stars and stripes. No, I'm just kidding. The one on the left. Is that Arizona? I think it was Arizona. We got someone blinking very badly, so that's exciting. It's gonna be hard to see back here. But we waited till green, so everyone's launching about the same time anyway. Be patient here. Clear inside. Don't want to do anything stupid, even though I feel like I could, I could blow past guys right now. I, just, I don't know where the qualifying speed's coming from from other guys. I really don't. If you know, leave a comment. No, I'm just kidding. Unless you want to. I want this guy not to hit me in the door. That was very close. That guy's like on the apron. Holy cow, that's scary. Scary, scary. Harry, scary. Okay. Harry situation. <laughs> that guy entered on the apron and he somehow didn't come up and kill someone. 
loose setup is feeling very nice in this traffic. I will say that. I'll go ahead and take this, even though I think draft is probably better. Much of a run on him here, so we're just going to take the draft. Move forward a couple spots, nothing crazy though. 15th to 13th, I think it is. Long race, so. I'm going to be thinking about my. Oh! I'll take it one X. Stay away from that. All right. I saw a guy flying up behind me, not hitting the brakes. So took some evasive maneuvers. Oh, let the 13 car by. All right. Get past the 12. <laughs> I thought it would give me my spots back. I never actually hit anyone or anything. Just had to get the 1x, which is fine. If I can keep it at 1x, I'll be very happy. For the race, it'll still be a gain after 80 laps. Not that I can gain anything. I've been stuck at 499A for 9,000 years. Not that that's a bad thing, but it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> What am I talking about? Stuck at four right like that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Make it sound like a bad thing. I have achieved four nine nine and it has not moved for a while. Oh. Uh guys are pitting for some reason. No reason to do that yet as far as I am concerned. Maybe they had damage? I don't know. Closed, pit road is closed. Caution. Pits are closed. Where are he going? And that psychedelic car. Oh, those are, it reminds me of those like stickers that some people would have like in elementary school. Usually the girls would have them like the really colorful like flowery smiley face stickers. Maybe that's what that's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna increase my volume though. I can't hear people very well. I never can but I don't want to like increase it seems like anytime I increase their volume then they're like way too loud. I don't know what the deal with that is. I recognize that uh, truck in front of us, though, Hank. I remember that truck. We've raced them a couple of times. It's interesting uh, finding anyone that I recognize right now, because I don't normally race at this time. Or I haven't in a long time, anyway. Really like how quick this caution period felt, though, because we're already two to green. We're gonna be coming one to green right now. I believe we are ninth, not tenth. I could be wrong. One left to green. Nice. Right. I would prefer to be on the bottom if possible. So we've already gone from fifteenth to ninth, but I mean it's only lap eight, so big deal. But I do think being able to keep up with the draft of the lead pack, however many people that consists of, is important. So. That's why I'm not hanging back or anything here. I did a uh, C fixed race, actually. Um, it was late night, and uh, Rents Brown, the Twitch streamer, was doing C fixed race. And I was just itching to race something at all, and it was late at night, and no one was in anything that I would normally run. And I was like, heck, I'll do it. So I did a C-Fixed race here already this week, and I ended up P2 in that one. And uh, keeping up with the lead pack was important to that, I believe. Even at the expense of my tires. So, of course, fixed racing is much different. And open racing. The car is off. Be ready. 
Looks like the leader is insistent on going on green. Outside lane got a better start, looks like. Someone cutting down in front there that looked potentially dangerous, but I think it's just because everything looks close right now. Chick-fil-A getting in the apron, I think. And just keeping an eye on where he is. All right. And they're like three wide up there, I think. Or if not three wide, pretty darn close to it. Liking the setup so far, we'll see how it is in the long run, but it seems to have short run pace. Except for in qualifying, apparently. Still don't know why I can't qualify here, but... And our outside's holding on for dear life. Not a big deal. I don't feel like I'm compromising my line too much at all. That was an iffy decision, maybe. Snow zombie down there, but that's fine. Come around out here. Carving up the field feels pretty good, feels fun. He's got a lot of momentum out there, though, on the outside. Got a little bit loose. Another psychedelic looking truck. <laughs> Interesting. Necessarily trying to get to this inside here. I'm just taking my normal line. Is that guy in the wall? He is in the wall. <laughs> That's a yikes. Help this guy past him. He's turning down on us for some reason. Maybe he's extra afraid of the wall now, so he's trying to get as far away from it as possible. Still there, hold your 
Ah, that guy left me. I was trying to draft that guy. Looks getting a little tighter. That's why I knew I'd like the looser setup. So it'd feel even worse. Alright, that guy's on my inside. She wasn't. I'm gonna lose this draft. Try and let him pass me. So we are not side by side anymore. Alright. Lifting off a little bit more on entry now. Kind of transitioning into the long run line here. Is that another guy in the wall up there? Is that maybe a lap truck? I'm not sure. Yes, that is a lap truck. Outside. Outside, clear. Seven's got better tires, I think. Passes on the outside apparently, although the 17 is getting crazy. That was not cool. That was very unsettling. Okay. Close the door on there. I don't know. He might not appreciate that, but <laughs> definitely want to be around him if he's going to be slipping up. Got some clean air here. That's cool. Mm, I like the way the truck feels in clean air. Although apparently this guy's just straight up faster than me, so. By me. I will happily latch on to him if he's going to be better than me. Man, he's just got more grip in the corner. Straight up. Pour it there. Weird, it's getting a little bit loose center to exit a little bit now, even though it's tight on entry. Did not expect that with how the truck's feeling right now. 
curious. We might not be able to keep up with the seven, even with draft. Decent corner there, though. I don't know. Sometimes it turns into the corner, sometimes it doesn't, it feels like. It's, I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. Okay, that's a four-tire slide. That's not good. Never want that to happen. There's no grip. I'm having trouble kind of deciphering how this thing, how this truck is evolving. I'm trying to stay on top of it, but it's kind of driving weird. Like I said, it's kind of, sometimes it's tight on entry, sometimes it's okay-ish. Usually get weirdly loose, starting right about here. Kind of have to fight that. Wow. Eighth place though, not too bad. We're actually, this race is going by quick, it feels like. We're already on lap 32. Uh, we did have the caution earlier, so I'm not going to be wanting to... Just pit it halfway. I'm not even sure we're in the pit window yet, anyway. I see there, it just it didn't turn, it felt like. Hmm. God damn it, dude, what are you doing? Uh oh. That sounded like a potential caution, but I'm not seeing a yellow flag. Here it goes loose again on center exit. Tight the whole corner until it gets to there. And a much better corner there. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. It's kind of uh, a little unpredictable. Way this truck is behaving. Okay, Alter, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Maybe I just gotta drive it right. Like, I'll make sure I'm really getting the right angle into the corner. Because look at that. That, that. that was like a whole tenth faster that time. I don't know, man. That lap truck coming up again. They're well off pace, and kind of potentially dangerous if you reach them at the wrong part of the track. Get some draft here from them, though. Car outside. Clear high. She set up the track a little bit there. It got loose at the bottom. Not ideal. We can add about a lap 45 pit, I believe. Might be about where we want. The too crazy strategy wise there. Just factoring in the yellow flag we had so you don't want exactly halfway. We'll keep an ear out for when other 
other people say they're pitting in. In fact, it might be a good idea to purposely pit when other people do, so that way you have their draft. It is a thing, I mean, that's a decent bit of time you're getting if you're in their draft. Oh, I almost got the wall. It just was not gripping for me. Upset with the setup, though. It's, it's. I mean, it's brought me to eighth, and it's not killing me tight. It's just a little bit tight on entry, maybe. I much have it. Rather have it loose on exit than tight on exit, even though it's making me four tire slide a lot. But I don't know. Could be worse. So we're about halfway. We'll see if anyone decides to take it to pit road halfway despite the yellow flag. Oh, something happened behind us, I think, unless they they went into pits. They were not a second behind a moment ago. Do we have some takers? Oh, that got tight. Okay, <sighs> we're halfway to the finish. Halfway. Half it feels better in 1 and 2 than it does in 3 and 4. I don't know what the science is behind that, because this is a uh, symmetrical track theoretically, but it's definitely tighter in 3 and 4 than it is in 1 and 2. Unless it's just me driving it wrong. Still in spitting that lap 45. That tight there. Apron. Oh, the guy ahead in the wall? Looks like he might have been in the wall. Not that I'm going to catch him anyway, but he got pretty close. He didn't hit the wall. You all, we got one taker up there. Okay, Colton, you've got about four laps of fuel left. B7, good consistency. Keep them coming. Definitely uh, driving on the borderline here. Every every lap, bringing it close to that wall. exit. There's not much more turn it's willing to give than I'm getting from it. So we are going to pit in this lap. We estimate three laps of fuel left. You've just done it at 32.7. I'm at three laps of fuel left. Is that what that said? Maybe we'll just take it a fuel run then. So that's pretty borderline. What if we get like three green white checkers? I mean, if we do, we'd, we'd be taking tires, so we would take fuel anyway, but... You know what? Never mind. I'm going to take it to the full fuel run, in case Kosh comes out. I think it's... But, uh, two laps of fuel I think it's worth... 
couple extra laps out here. So we're going to take a full field run then. Change my mind based on the amount of fuel we have. Bring it in here. This is the last lap of fuel. Pitting in this lap. <laughs> Alright, let's not mess this up. I did it too early. Yeah, I was not happy with that. It could have been a lot faster. Better too slow than too fast, though. Take our tires. Take our fuel. Get out of pit road. That's cool. Okay, go. I want spinger tires. Stop it. It takes it as clear. Don't cross the line. Wrap it. Yep, pit road quickly. All right. Wish we had people in front of us to draft off of, but it's hard to plan around that. Speed! Is that three that was catching up to us? So at least I didn't lose a whole bunch of time or anything. In fact, I've gained that time on that person, it looks like. Because they were not that far back. Before. Leader's just now pitting. Top 10? I sure would hope so. We were before pitting. Oh, we have leapfrogged this guy. The number 7. They were definitely ahead of us. Interesting. You know, I said I want to draft, but, you know, maybe clean air is good, too. That's something to think about. I think that guy ahead just got loose. So we were in eighth. Let's see where we cycled out. Okay, that's seventh. I like that. We actually pit pretty late, so we're not going to fall back anymore, presumably. I like it. Seems like I had a good pit cycle. There's some people behind me that uh, were not behind me. I got seven. Nice. I like it. And there's no way anyone's still out right now because there's no way they could have made it on fuel. The lead is pitting now. Oh, there was someone that still hadn't pit. Oh wow, okay, yeah, they saved fuel or something. <laughs> Maybe. Whenever the first caution came out, they got fuel. I don't know. That is cool, though, because now we're sixth. Even better. So 
So it's looking like it was a very nice pit cycle. are gaining a tiny bit on the guy ahead, but nothing too noteworthy. It would be great to be able to get into his draft. But I'm not so sure that's going to be possible. Yeah, not really gaining at all, actually. It's it gained like a tenth one lap and then just lost it again, so about equal on speed with him, I think. It'll be nice not being in dirty air, though, for this second run. I think that'll help the right front. Just keep hitting your mark. Yes, sir. I will keep hitting my marks. I wasn't going to, but since you said so, I'll do it just for you. <laughs> So they're battling up there. That looks like for the lead. So we're in sixth. Let me do some truck counting. Oh, we've got a moment. Put one truck, two truck, three truck, four, five trucks, six trucks, me. So that is the leader. Interesting. I like being able to see the leader. That's a cool development. Maybe if they battle enough up there, we'll be able to reel them in a little bit. We'll see. Cut up a little tighter right there. Yeah, they're battling for the lead up there. That's very interesting. So you can see the eight ahead of us got into their draft and just completely rocketed away from us several tenths. That shows you the power of the draft. It's all it takes though. If you can get up there get sucked right up. Oh, and then he got loose. Someone got loose. Wasn't the same guy on it. I don't think they're still up there, though. Alright, Colton. The next car is McCarthy. I would love to be part of that party. All my friends are up there in the top five, and I'm back here. Oh... All my pals running in the top five. Woe is me. They're having a top five party and I'm not invited. Truck got tight there. Kinda of catching up to a guy or two though, maybe. And if they hurt their tires battling there for a minute or something. Still got that draft though. So it's gonna be hard to even take advantage of that. Maybe they pit real early? It's also a possibility. Why is there a guy going two miles an hour on the apron? I use this. Okay, didn't get in the way. <laughs> they are not meeting minimum speed. That's an high line. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe if they have a setup for it. This setup I don't think is not is made for the high line. I feel like you lose so much time trying to do the high line. Believe me, I tried. I like the high line. 
If I can make the Highline work, I'll do it, but I saw no indication that there was going to be speed up there in my practice. And I don't think they're getting so much either, because I'm gaining on them while they run that high line. Tight truck, tight truck. Am I starting to get into their air? Probably not, it's probably just the tires wearing off. Definitely gaining though. I like it. I like that. Not cut the apron there. It's gonna be a little bit of time. We sneak up on him. Ooh, almost hit the apron there. Almost hit the wall there. Did hit the wall there. It stopped turning. Why did it do that? Hopefully that tiny tap's not gonna do much, but I don't like doing that. Let's not do that anymore. Wow, it just stopped turning. I don't know how to explain that one. Well, why I gotta throw away all my progress like that? I didn't hit the apron. It's not like that's what shot me up. Oh, the truck's starting to evolve. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, well then. Truck's starting to do some different things. That's probably why I, it didn't turn right didn't turn correctly. Wow, that was like a light switch. It went from, yeah, I'm just fine, to like, okay, we're doing that weird thing on Exit again, where it kind of like gets a little loose. There it goes again. Alright, trying to stay on top of this thing. Wow, that's crazy. It really was like a light switch. One moment. We're cruising. Next, it's like, all right, it's uh, warm tire time. It's on the loose side of things, though. I like that. Reeling uh, the guy in ahead once more. Probably would already be there if I hadn't hit the wall. Less than a second now. As soon as we start getting a little bit more of that draft though, it's really going to bring us up there. Oh wow, I didn't even notice the guy behind me is really catching. They've got a really good long run truck, I think. They came and passed me the last run later on. Trying to get a top five here, you're gonna come ruin it for me? Man. See, we'll see what happens. Oh. Loose. I'm catching the guy ahead just about as quickly as the guy behind is catching me. Time 
Whew. Really got to balance it when you're reaching uh, late in the corner. I'm tempted to try doing that higher line they're doing, but I just I don't think it's gonna work for me. I think it's just gonna lose me time, even trying it once. So I'm just I'm gonna keep doing what I know is working. Kind of. About nearly got the wall there. Four tire slide. Reaching the end of this thing, it's creeping up on us. Can we get to this guy and get ourselves a top five? Mmm, loose, I like it though. And we beat Premier Racing Setups, I think that says. It's free setup. <laughs> uh, very loose. Hold it together now. Not a great corner. Man, it's so close on fuel. Mm. I don't know if we're going to catch him. We're not really gaining anymore. I gotta hope I can hold on to sixth too. Got about three laps of fuel left. Ooh, drove it in there good and it's stuck. Oh, I like it. <laughs> it looked like see it looks like he pulled away though still, even though I had a good corner. That's not what I want. Two left to go. Two to go. Yeah, he's found another burst of speed, I think. All of a sudden, we're not catching up to him. Two laps left. Only two more laps of fuel. Oh. Dang, that just lost me sixth place. Oh. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Dang. Hate that. Just needed to do like one and a half more laps without making a dumb mistake. And it happened. Nothing left. Man, I hate that I lost sixth right at the end there, but oh well. You have about one right in there, Rudolph. That was fun. <sighs> oh well. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. There's the flag. It's over. Seventh place isn't bad. Nice run. I was able to keep it to that one X that I was talking about earlier. Good race, guys. Good Good race. <laughs> awesome green flag racing, though. Definitely was some fun. I enjoyed that. So let's pull it on over. Let me see what the tires were looking like. Probably not great, but I feel like I did what I needed to do. 5667, yeah. <laughs> so. Number two gets the win. 
22 was a fantastic run. It looked like they were falling off at the end there, but still got their, themselves a top five. We ended up, we definitely gained from that uh, pit strategy, I think. I feel like I should have gotten sixth, but that's okay. We'll check out the incidents. I mean, for how bad I stunk in qualifying, going from 15th to 7th, definitely can feel pretty good about that. Alright, let's take a look. You can see what brought out the only uh, caution of the race. Well, that's what it is. It was the number 19 finish dead last. Looks like they probably got loose and had to chase it. Yeah, just came up and ran into the guy and then... Oh my god, that guy almost killed me. That was even closer than I thought it was. Hit the brakes, man. It almost killed me. There's no reason you even needed to be flying through there. And you would have made it through if you weren't, too. You still got hit. Like, look how far back he is. I'm over here dodging it. I don't know what he's gassing it up there for, but I have to dodge to the left because I see him coming. Like, why should I be dodging behind me when I'm <laughs> avoiding a wreck in front of me? There's no reason that should happen. I dodge at the last second and trade a 1x for rear end damage, so I will take that trade any day. No reason for him to be flying in that fast. Uh, but fair number of people involved in that one, that's for sure. I'll look up here. Oh, 21 got it bad. 13 got it bad. That stinks, having your race ended that early. At lap 10, we're just going to get a little bit of a wall hit. I think some guys hit that wall back there because it's a curved back stretch. I used to drive in a straight line. <laughs> Maybe that's not why, but two gets the wall. I remember this. I remember them falling back from that. Split engine. Yep. This guy was involved in an accident. I'm surprised it didn't blow immediately, to be honest. Ooh, sketchy here. There's a 17 getting loose. Let's see what I did here. So I'm following my seam getting loose. I turn the wheel hard left because I'm thinking he's going to be messing up, you know. We all, we all keep it going. Guy going two miles an hour and still hitting the wall. Not sure why. Ooh, has to turn the wheel hard to stay out of the wall there and then still manages to get it on the back stretch. What's going on here? Guy in P16 at the time fighting there. Guess he just gets loose on exit. Can't hold on to it. That could have been a caution right there. Ooh, yeah, tires are real hot. Oh, he spends it. That easily could have been a caution right there, but he gets it going straight just in time. Wow. Um. What? He spun out again? That is bad, man. That's real bad. I remember this guy ex exclaiming. Now I know why. That was terrible. Like, ease, like 
how long, how, how long do you have to touch the hot stove before you realize it's hot? Like, you slide your tires, tires are hot, but you don't realize it, so you're all wiggly down the straightaway. Spin out, tires are even hotter now. You'd think you'd learn. No, still gassing up to the left, still gassing it up to the right, and then you ruin someone's race. Had to touch the hot stove about four times before they learned. Now, still that wasn't a caution, because no one was around on the track. They were in the middle of nowhere. But, jeez. It's me hitting 50% of the tires, probably. Probably a couple guys are gonna do it here. So here's some green flag pit stop. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, Nate almost spins it. So I'm kind of looking how other guys are doing it. They're taking it real slow. See how much this guy gains on him. And yet they still lose a bit because they start fishtailing on the entry to the pits. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I almost speed too. I'm curious. I want to see how my pits went. Just visually seeing how it went. Bring it to a closer view. It's pretty slow, I feel like. That could have been so much faster. Just start hitting the brakes a bit too early, I think. A bit too softly, I could have met, I could have uh, gotten a little bit more time out of that. Oh good, we might have someone we can visualize off of. So, we'll compare how far he was compared to how far I lose or gain. Is that his pit entry? Still better than mine. Well, about equal, maybe. That just shows you how much I could have pushed, though. Man. Alright, just wanted to evaluate that. Those are those guys having their adventure. Chick fil A in the wall. Seventeen kind of weaving a bit. Uh-oh. Don't look. It's embarrassing. Yeah, this is when the, the tires were doing just fine, and all of a sudden it's like, nah, not going to turn anymore. Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's just like, I hit my marks, I feel like. I hit the apex. And then where it goes wrong is like from here, the rest of the corner. It's not gripping anymore. Where are you going, truck? You can even see the markings on the track. I'm just, I've got like a four tire slide going on. Uh, maybe that's from someone else, I don't know, but it looks like it's from me. Stop turning, man. I don't know. Light, uh, the light switch got flipped. Chick-fil-A loves taking a bite out of that wall. Now on Sundays, though. More wall. Hey, and that's it. So it was pretty clean to the end there. So, uh, kind of heart, heartbreaking that we lost that one spot. I guess heartbreaking is a little dramatic. A little bit uh, disappointing. We lost sixth place at the end there because of the one last mistake I made. But uh, I was fighting, <laughs> fighting the truck, so it is what it is. But seventh is still very nice. I can live with that for sure. And, uh, yeah, I know that seven was really good on long runs anyway. He was catching up. He earned it. He fought hard to catch me. So that's that. We uh, get the 1x from avoiding the accident, and that's it. So still a very nice day at the track. I hope you enjoyed watching. I had a fun race. I enjoyed it. And I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time.